Regularly, Russian spy ships equipped with the most advanced electronic surveillance technologies approach dangerously close to the American fleet. These strategic maneuvers by Russia aimed at gathering information about American aircraft carriers laden with advanced weapon systems and strategic data signify a deeper underlying strategic game. In these confrontations where every detail matters, the U.S. Navy responds with impressive precision. 5,000 sailors swiftly turn off their electronic devices and deploy advanced electronic decoys to ensure safety. What happens on board U.S. Navy ships at that moment is impressive. What happens when a Russian spy ship gets too close to a U.S. aircraft carrier? Before we go into further details of these encounters and their consequences, let's take a while to get to know the enemy and see what the U.S. Navy is up against. Russian spy ships are a vital part of Russia's naval strategy, primarily focused on intelligence gathering and monitoring global maritime activities. Designed for surveillance rather than combat, their main goal is to collect data on foreign naval movements and capabilities, significantly enhancing Russia's situational awareness at sea. Equipped with advanced electronic surveillance systems, these ships can intercept and analyze various communications, including radar and radio signals, playing a key role in signals intelligence, or SIGINT. They also possess electronic warfare capabilities to disrupt or deceive enemy electronics, using countermeasures to jam enemy radar and communications. Additionally, these spy ships use sophisticated radar and sonar sensor arrays for enhanced situational awareness allowing discrete monitoring of naval asset movements. The U.S. Navy frequently encounters these Russian vessels, which, as per international maritime law, are allowed to transit through the U.S. Economic Exclusive Zone, or the EEZ. A notable instance was in January 2023, when a Russian spy ship was spotted about 100 miles off Hawaii. In 2019, a Russian spy ship was reported to be operating unsafely off the U.S. southeastern coast, to understand how critical the situation can be when these spy ships encounter U.S. aircraft carriers on the high seas, let's get to know them first. Aircraft carriers are key to the U.S. Navy, being the most adaptable and survivable airfields globally. They support operations against various targets, contribute to maritime security, and assist in disaster response and humanitarian efforts. The U.S. has 11 large nuclear-powered carriers, each carrying about 80 fighters, making them the world's largest, with more deck space than all other nations combined. These carriers, seen as floating cities, are equipped with advanced weapons like F-A-18 Hornets, ready for extensive combat missions. They play a crucial role in patrolling key waterways and responding to international crises, thus reinforcing the U.S.'s maritime supremacy and influence. This dominance underscores the desperation of Russian spy ships to gather intelligence about these powerful naval assets. Okay, we're now aware of both sides, so what exactly happens when a Russian spy ship gets too close? Let me ask you a question first here. What are your thoughts on the delicate balance between maritime surveillance and respecting international laws? Do you believe there should be stricter regulations or is the current framework sufficient? Share your perspectives in the comments. Additionally, we'd like to invite you to join our channel. By becoming a member, you show your support for the brave men and women of the U.S. Navy who work tirelessly for our safety and freedom. Your support not only helps us continue creating content, but also serves as a gesture of appreciation for those who serve. Click the link in the description or visit our channel page and select Join. Thank you for your support. When a Russian spy ship gets too close. It all starts with a command issued by the Combat Information Center to alarm every crew member of the presence of a threat approaching. The Combat Information Center, or CIC, or Action Information Center, AIC, is like the brain of the aircraft carrier. It's a special space that's set up and equipped with instruments. The main job of the CIC is to collect, show, and share information about combat situations. It's also responsible for carrying out specific tasks related to controlling combat, as assigned by the right authority. Think of it as the command hub where all the important information is gathered, processed, and decisions are made to keep the ship or aircraft safe and effective in a combat situation. 
Information is received from various sources, such as radar, sonar, visual lookouts, electronic countermeasure equipment, radio, radio direction finders, intelligence reports, agrological data, operation orders, and other publications. This multitude of information must be sorted and displayed. It must then be analyzed as to its tactical meaning so that the commands are given and actions can be taken accordingly. Upon detection of a Russian spy ship in close proximity, the combat center follows a stringent protocol for activating alarm systems. A series of audible and visual alerts is initiated across the aircraft carrier to warn the crew of a potential threat. This is crucial for ensuring that everyone on board is aware and ready to respond. All the crew members on board are highly trained to take on any challenge at any moment. Therefore, they are well aware of the protocols and procedures to be followed during any such situation. So, with the alarm going off, the aircraft carrier gets on high alert and becomes super active, with all the crew members rushing towards their respective positions to perform their designated roles and duties. The military emphasizes clear and concise communication protocols to ensure that information is transmitted accurately and promptly. Standardized procedures and codes are often in place to convey specific instructions and responses efficiently. The Combat Center establishes communications through intercom systems, radio, or other communications devices that enable officers in the CIC to broadcast important messages to the entire crew or specific sections of the ship, ensuring that everyone receives critical information. After the crew has been briefed about the presence of an enemy spy ship around them, all respective units immediately initiate both the defense and defensive protocol. As we know, a major purpose of a spy ship is to steal valuable information from the aircraft carrier, whether about the highly sophisticated systems on board, the planning of missions, or even the personal information of the crew members. Therefore, the first and foremost step is to prevent the enemy from getting their hands on any piece of information. For this reason, sailors on the aircraft carrier might receive an immediate call to turn off all electronic devices. This proactive measure prevents potential interference or unauthorized information leakage, ensuring operational security. Beyond preventing interference, turning off electronic devices contributes to maintaining a controlled electronic environment on board. This controlled environment is crucial for operational security, preventing unauthorized access to sensitive information and ensuring a focused response to the situation. Furthermore, U.S. Navy aircraft carriers are equipped with several offensive and defensive electronic warfare systems to counter or neutralize any threat. These systems cannot just disrupt the spy ship's surveillance and intelligence gathering capabilities, but can also impede their operations by interfering and jamming their communications. Radar jamming is a key countermeasure that involves emitting signals that interfere with or overwhelm the radar signals used by the spy ship for surveillance. This disrupts their ability to accurately detect and track targets. Similarly, the aircraft carriers incorporate sophisticated communication jamming equipment that can interfere with or block radio signals and communication frequencies used by the spy ships. These systems are designed to disrupt the ability of the enemy forces to effectively communicate and coordinate. U.S. aircraft carriers are also capable of deploying decoy systems, such as electronic decoys or chaff, to divert the attention of the spy ship. These decoys mimic the electronic signatures of the naval vessel, creating confusion and making it harder for the spy ship to distinguish between real and false signals. Signals Intelligence, or SIGINT, is another electronic warfare tactic that's used by U.S. aircraft carriers to collect signals and communication-related information that is used to gain insight into the workings of the adversary or target. This could include verbal communications, written messages, data from radar, weapon systems, and more. This intelligence gathering helps in understanding the spy ship's activities, intentions, capabilities, and potential threats. SIGINT involves analyzing patterns in electronic signals over time. By studying the patterns of signals emitted by spy ships, carriers can infer their intentions, whether it's routine operations or potentially threatening activities. SIGINT is closely tied to electronic countermeasures. The carrier can use the intelligence gathered to tailor specific countermeasures including electronic jamming to disrupt the spy ship's communications and surveillance capabilities and to initiate attack protocols if the situation escalates. Beyond mere tracking, the carrier's intelligence team engages in a nuanced analysis of the spy ship's intentions. 
This involves assessing patterns, identifying any aggressive maneuvers, and evaluating the ship's proximity to the carrier group. By discerning potential threats and deciphering the spy ship's motives, naval commanders can make informed decisions regarding the appropriate level of a response. Note that the carrier's command structure conducts a comprehensive risk assessment based on gathered intelligence. This assessment considers factors such as the spy ship's behavior, historical contacts, and perceived threat level. The outcome guides the command in the combat center in determining the most suitable response measures, ranging from diplomatic engagement to defensive posturing, depending on the assessed risk level. Detecting enemy ships Regardless of how swift and advanced these spy ships may be, it goes without saying that they can never catch the U.S. aircraft carrier by surprise, thanks to the advanced surveillance systems on board that can literally sniff their presence from miles away. To search for spy ships and ensure comprehensive surveillance, U.S. Navy aircraft carriers employ advanced radar techniques and technologies. Several radar systems contribute to this capability, each with a specific function tailored to different aspects of maritime surveillance. U.S. aircraft carriers are equipped with a state-of-the-art surface search radar, often used for surface search and navigation, helping in the detection of nearby ships and obstacles. Beyond these powerful radars, U.S. Navy aircraft carriers employ a myriad of detection technologies, including visual lookouts, electronic countermeasures equipment, radio direction finders, and intelligence reports. Continuous monitoring ensures that potential threats, including spy ships, are not only detected, but are also thwarted in their attempts to remain undetected. Let me ask you a question here. How crucial do you believe the timely detection of spy ships is for ensuring maritime security? What potential consequences do you think could arise from a delay in identifying these vessels? Share your thoughts in the comments below. Rules of Engagement Now, it's essential to note that spy ships are not warships in the traditional sense. Their primary purpose is intelligence gathering, not direct combat. If detected, they may not have the defensive capabilities to engage in a confrontation, and their emphasis is typically on avoiding such situations. Therefore, their presence near U.S. aircraft carriers doesn't pose an imminent threat to the safety of the carrier, but based on the assessment through advanced surveillance, if the ship poses a threat to the sovereignty of the United States, then the threat must be mitigated. In the worst-case scenario where U.S. Navy sailors on the carrier need to take defensive or offensive actions, strict rules of engagement, or ROE, govern their response. The ROE are the guidelines or directives afforded by military forces, including individuals, that define the circumstances, conditions, degree, and manner in which the use of force or actions that might be construed as provocative may be applied. The ROE for U.S. Navy vessels facing close encounters with enemy ships prioritizes de-escalation, but provides a framework for escalating responses when necessary. The decision to use lethal force is governed by the imminent danger posed by the approaching enemy vessel. So, as we have explored what an encounter between a Russian spy ship and a U.S. aircraft carrier potentially looks like, and how challenging the situations can get, we can say one thing with utmost assurance. Being well prepared is an understatement when it comes to the readiness of the U.S. Navy to counter the threats posed by the enemies. It has warships equipped with the latest cutting-edge technology, advanced surveillance systems, and state-of-the-art offensive and defensive mechanisms in its arsenal. The U.S. Navy is capable of detecting, assessing, and mitigating its target within a matter of minutes. It is through this meticulous show of power and resilience of its brave sailors that the U.S. has maintained its dominance in the blue waters. This video aims not only to inform but also to provoke thoughtful reflection on the dynamics of international relations and the role of naval forces in ensuring global stability. If you like this video, make sure to give it a like. And if you loved it, then please subscribe to our channel. By doing so, you'll be showing us your support, which we truly appreciate and cherish. Keep an eye out as we continue to bring more entertaining and educational content on the U.S. Navy and other maritime topics. So hit that bell icon so you'll receive a notification every time we post a new video. Thanks, and we'll catch you in the next one.